Hi everyone, Demo Man here again with my top three tips for the Samsung Galaxy S3 on Telstra. This is the 3G version, but these will also work on the 4G version because they both run the same version of the software now. So the first thing I wanted to show you was multi-view. You can see I've got multi-view turned on now because I have a little tab on the side here that when you swipe out, it'll come up with all the programs that support multi-view. You can turn this on and off by holding down the back button or by going into the settings menu up here and tapping that to turn it on and off. So once it's on, you can go into a supported app. So I've just gone into the Facebook app here and say you want to have a look at Facebook while watching a YouTube video, you can do that. You swipe open here, scroll down to YouTube, which is just there grab the icon and drag it over and you can see it makes that area of the screen go blue let it go YouTube will come up and while it's loading you can scroll through this you can see here this is my my YouTube channel feed you can click on a video and it will load the video up and you can keep scrolling through Friday, up here and the, and the YouTube video keeps going if you want to load another app, the Apple versus Samsung case has taken another twist and almost half the damage is Falcon Pro, which is my the program I use for Twitter. Grab it, drag it up the top. And Twitter loads. That's pretty cool if you want to have a YouTube video streaming and you want to keep reading or doing other stuff. Of course, the two companies could just settle out of court for this See something that you like. So you want to email it to someone, grab your Gmail, drag it down here, it'll swap that app out. And this little keyboard, this miniature keyboard works when, when you're in multi-view mode and you need to type something. You can actually drag it out of the road. So you can type on the bottom or the top depending on where you want to, which, which section you want to type in. So that's multi-view um, on the current version of this phone. Next thing I want to show you is some of the messaging options. Now, when you get a text message on, on the Galaxy S3, it beeps, obviously. You get a notification on the lock screen. I'll just turn it off and I'll show you what that looks like. I'll send myself a message. You can see, it gives you the message at the top and the lock screen quickly turns on. And then when you go to unlock your phone again, you'll see the, the icon there. And also, when the screen is off, the little light up here flashes when you've got a notification. There's a couple other ways you can get it to notify you about messages as well. And I'll just go in and show you that. I'll go into this message. I've just sent that from my other phone. You go back to your messages and go to settings. Scroll down here. You can see under the notifications here, message alert repetition. If you click on that, when it says once, it'll go off once and then that's it. But you can set it to remind you every two or ten minutes if you haven't looked at the message to keep beeping. So if you've got your phone, you've left your phone in the car or in your bedroom or something like that and someone sends you a message it'll keep beeping until you go to it so I usually set that for every 10 minutes um, just so it reminds me now the other the other um, notification that um, Samsung has included in here is is a smart alert now you get to that by going to settings and it's right down here under motion don't ask me why motion, but anyway, smart alert. If you tap that, what it'll actually do is when you get a message um, and the screen is off, when you pick up the phone, it will detect that and it will make the phone vibrate. So as soon as you pick it up, you'll know, oh, hey, there's a message here. Unlock the screen and you'll see the notification there. Um, it's not real effective to show on video, but that's how it works. The third thing I wanted to show you is blocking mode. Um, this was something that came out. The iPhones have um, have a blocking mode on them 
now and um, Samsung's added this into um, to their version of Android. I think um, Android does have it on its own now but um, Samsung has definitely added it in. You see it here in settings under device blocking mode. It's a simple toggle on off but if you tap on the name it gives you all the things you can do when it's in blocking mode. So you can turn off all incoming calls, all notifications, disable your alarm and disable the little LED light up in the corner. You can also have it automatically turn on. So say from 9 o'clock at night to 6 o'clock in the morning, you don't want any phone calls or notifications. You might still want your alarm to go off, so you can turn that off. And disable the LED because some people hate the bright flashing light at night. And you can also have, uh, down here, you can have a loud contact. So you can go through and pick, say, your favourites so that if they ring you, it will still go off. But if anyone else tries to ring you, it'll just completely ignore them. And you can see, once blocking mode is enabled, you get a little icon up the top corner here, and it's in the notification bar. If you, can just tap, if you tap on it, you can turn it on and off. So that's my top three hints for the Galaxy S3. Thanks for watching.